Now they got as the scriptures say, all Israel shall um, be saved, but the Lord said he's gonna separate one third is gonna be um, saved first, which is the remnant or the elect, and then two thirds is gonna be destroyed and come back in the kingdom and reincarnation. That's right. Yep. Let me get the top. Revelation 11 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt. It's spiritually is Sodom in Egypt. Sodom and Gomorrah, that, that place has been destroyed. And spiritually, it's the same wickedness that's going on here in America. In Egypt, the Lord took us out of and delivered us out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord said he's going to come again and deliver us out of um, modern day Egypt in the glorious apparel or glory, the, the UFO, and, and his greatness of his power. That's right. Let me read that back in Isaiah 19. It said, The burden of Egypt, which is America, behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud. Because there's no document or no record of the Lord coming back to destroy what you call Egypt over there now. That's how you know it's talking about America. Mm -hmm. And the brother give me Joel 3 and 19. It. You got it? Mm -hmm. It says, in the burden of, in the burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord rides upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence and the heart of Egypt shall be melt, shall melt in the midst of it. Yeah, this, this, is the, this is the pride of Egypt. Yes, you know, right. These are the type of things that are gonna uh, be melted through the spirit, you know. And this is in the this is uh, somewhat in the heart uh, of the city because when you read it, they the, the description up there it tells you that they put it in this particular position on purpose. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Like every town has a square, yeah. a Freemasonry. That's why when the disciples asked you how was shy, what's gonna be the sign of the coming or the end? He said, when all these stones are not left upon each other, because the Lord's gonna rip up all this place. Because of all the idols. That's right. Every town, every square in America and throughout the world, they got squares. Yeah. Goes back to Freemasonry, goes back to witchcraft, goes back into the planet of Saturn, because on the top of Saturn it has a cube which these damn devils worship. That's right. Mm -hmm. And if I if I can say too, even if you if you uh, see around the uh centered around it, you see the Roman style columns. Right, that's right. You see all the Roman style, the Roman architecture, and you know, when you go into Roman architecture. They had like three different styles of Roman columns that they would uh, that they would build. I know one of them was called the Iconium Pillars, and and all of them had a satanic symbolic meaning behind it, man. That's right. You know, so everything you know, we uh, on the top. You see, they got the uh, uh you know, was it Anno Domini, Populus America. Right. You know, they have all kind of codes and symbolism written with within them stones, and, and the scriptures tell you what not to do that, like like what the elders bringing out. Yeah, it could. And I was going back to that because America is spiritually Egypt because what? In ancient Egypt, under Ramses, I believe, II, they had all 12 tribes in slavery. Now, over here in America, all 12 tribes over here are being persecuted once again. Yeah. And it, it, it goes into Je um, Joel 3 and 19 because Edom and Egypt is synonymous. Huh. This is uh, Joel 3 and 19. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. That's because... Going back to Revelations 11 and 8, this place is spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah and spiritually Egypt. Mm -hmm. That's America. And Edom mm -hmm. and Egypt, they're the new Egyptians. Yep. Yeah. That's why they got what? The, the Washington Monument. On yeah. the back of your dollar bill, they got the pyramid yep. with the Latin terminology, which goes back to Egypt or, or Rome, which is an a, a, uh, extension of Esau's kingdom mm -hmm. or Esau's kingdom. Nubis Order Seclorium. Yep. Yep. And it it's all linked. It was on that yeah, pillar, yeah, that, that square That's up right. there. Yeah. Look it up. Yeah, um, right. And like what the elder saying, right up there on the on this tablet, they have a uh, a paragraph, you know, speaking right. on this art. And at the top of the paragraph, the heading, it says Novus Ordo Seclorum, just to add to the point the elder That's made. Right. You know, I, I yeah. continue on. It says, um, for the violence against the children of Judah. Read that from the beginning, man. Con, con. This is uh, Joel three and nineteen. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness, for the violence against the children of Judah. Because they have shed the innocent blood of their in their land, and that goes to Joel the third chapter with the Valley of Jehoshaphat. The Lord's gonna get all the heathen to burn them, but He's gonna burn this place and leave it as a memorial yeah. for what the violence they did against the children of Israel. That's right. All the rape, robbery, slavery, the castration, the the the, um, the, the taking the children out of their homes and putting them in different plantations, yeah. which is happening to this day That's under right. the guise of ICE, which yeah. still goes into what. The separation, or as the Lord said, our Lord, Yahweh Shai said, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent taken by force. That's right. 
That that's violent right. is the so-called white man. That's right, that's right. How did he get this place and everything else through the sword? Yeah. yeah, that's how he was even able to, to erect this. That's yeah. right. Because of the initial archetypes, he got it through the sword. Right. Hey, and that was that was a that was a disrespectful uh thing to do, man. When you go into the temple of the Israelites, that was a that was a bold move because right. that's if you go into the temple, that's where the spirit of Yahweh dwelt. That's right. In the Holy of Holies. So for them to go into the temple where the Israelites would send up their offerings and sacrifice and then come back in the land that they stole and erect that same that same architecture, mm -hmm. it shows that this place gotta be destroyed. Yeah, right. You see, you see that the Yahweh Bashmael Shai has Edom and Egypt lumped together That's right. mm -hmm. because history is repeating itself again. Esau uh, is, is, has gained control in Egypt starting with Alexander and then now he's gained control of Egypt again. Hey, even in real life, didn't it, uh, it wasn't Gaddafi, it was uh, the, uh, they took out a uh, so-called liberated Egypt but it destroyed it. It just shows you that Esau always has his part in Egypt, physically and spiritually. Egypt, uh, Esau clings to Egyptian gods, those deities, and that's how uh, he gained some of his power, all right? And that's how he's able to establish uh, uh, monuments and stuff like this. And people are uh, oohing and aahing over it. Right. This is nothing to uh, reverence or to uh, be amazed at. You know, right. this is a symbolism uh, of the downfall of these Latinos and Native Americans. That's part of the trophies on conquering us as a people. Right. In, in Egypt and America is synonymous in what? No, Egypt and America is synonymous. When y'all brothers give me Jeremiah 46, 24, you'll see it. Okay, go ahead. Okay. It says, um, it says Egypt is coming out of the north. Oh, right. And that's a heifer. A, a sacrifice. A heifer is what? A, a cow. Isn't it? Yep, a female yep, yep. cow. Uh -huh. That goes back to Baal or the, the symbols of Baal. But it's also um, something that's about to be taken out or cooked by the nuclear missiles. <laughs> right. Matter of fact, now I'm done out 24 for you. Americans get all this in the ball of them. And one, they got every idol from all those different kingdoms over here in America in some form or fashion. That's right. Yeah. It says, uh, she shall be delivered into the hand of the people of the north. That links up with Ezekiel 38. God get Magog, mm -hmm. Russia, yep. the bear, in Revelation. Yep. We're gonna take down the leper or America. Is he, when you read um, Isaiah, where we was at, 19.2, the Lord said he's gonna uh, make the Egyptian go against the Egyptian. Yep. Yep. The Edomites over there in Russia is gonna destroy the Edomites yep. that's over here in America. That's right. Which is the modern day Egyptians. Yep, that's right. All right, for instance, last verse, verse 25. The Lord of hosts, the power of Israel saith, behold, I will punish the multitude of no and Pharaoh in Egypt with their gods and their kings, even Pharaoh and all them that trust in him. Yep, and that go into all Pharaoh, his host, his army. Mm -hmm. This time the Lord drowned them with the water when they separated, when the Lord had Moses separated the um the, the waters, right? Mm -hmm. And we walk, walk through. Now the Lord's gonna burn their ass with that fire. That's the right. The whole host. Yep. The valley of Joe. The Lord said he has a great sacrifice. Yep. The second death. Yep. Yeah, Esau is he's bringing Esau is bringing the heat, man. Mm -hmm. You know, Esau is coming. He's coming. Uh, he's trying to what they did in 70 AD to us. They're gonna try and do that again. You yeah. know, by yeah. instituting this mark of the beast. Right. Mm -hmm. And when they try to make a move with that uh, Novus Ordo Seclorum, that's when the Lord is gonna rain that fire down, like the elder just said. You know, he's gonna wipe this thing clean off the face of the earth. Man. Yeah. That's right. Man. You know? and, and, and if I could say, that's that's what when they temple, that pretty much Romanized Jake. Yeah. Cause they didn't yeah. have that place of sacrifice to go to to the Lord. It was no longer available. Just as you had what when you had the uh, uh, um, uh, um, what was it the when the Greeks went and defiled the temple during the time of Antiochus. Yeah. You know, Jake couldn't go to the temple and sacrifice, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so now the third temple is who is the, the elect, the hundred and forty-four thousand, and they they gonna try to come at the elect and try to and try to do what? Try to uh, implement that microchip on brothers. Yeah. But the Lord gonna keep this third temple intact. Yeah. And that's how Jake is going to be able to, to be joined back with Yahweh Shai. It's through, you know, the Holy Spirit and him raising up the members of the elect. Yeah. So it's all spiritual, mm -hmm. you know. I'll just bring out some history. This is uh, in the Maccabees, 
uh, prior to 70 AD because what happened in Maccabees came back again. Yep. Mm. You know, just like we said, history always repeats itself. There's no new thing under the sun. Now this is 2 Maccabees 8 and verse 1. It says, Then Judas Maccabees and they that were with him went privily into the towns and called their kinfolks together and took unto them all such as continued in the Jews' religion and assembled about 6,000 men and they called upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh that he would look upon the people that was trodden down of all and also pity the temple profaned of ungodly men and that he would have compassion upon the city sword defaced and ready to be made even with the ground and hear the blood that cried unto him and remember the wicked slaughter of harmless infants and the blasphemies committed against his name and that he would show his hatred against the wicked you know and that's an example of what happened uh, uh, prior to uh, 70 AD with uh, Vespasian and his sons coming in and ransacking our people, man. Yeah. You know? And that's exactly what they're gonna try and do again. Yeah. You know? They said they were killing the harmless infants, mm -hmm. you know, uh, blaspheming the name yep. of Yahweh, Yahweh, and Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. So the Lord's gonna have to act on that because he's very jealous of these things. That's right. That's right. You know, and I got a quick precept going into that. This is um the book of Isaiah, chapter one. And um, I'm gonna start at verse seven. It says, your country is desolate, your cities are burned with fire, your land and, and strangers devoured. It's it. I'm going to read it from the top. Your country is desolate, your cities are burned with fire, your land, strangers devour it in your presence. Mm. Okay? And it says, and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. Okay? So imagine, you know, what, what Israel was going through when the Romans came and they ransacked the temple. When you look at the archetypes, you see the, the, the Roman carrying the menorahs and the scrolls yeah. and all kind of the different uh, mm -hmm. things that was inside of the temple. This is a slap in the nigga's face. Yeah, yeah. right. This is a slap in the nigga's face. And, and, and right yeah, beside it, right it, is, it is, um, is, 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 is different condominiums and towers. And that's what, and, and Jake is, you know, wor worried about that, but they don't see this big slap right in their face. Yeah. It ultimately, kind, kind, ultimately, they don't, they don't know it. You know, but that's why, hey, the Lord said what? He will raise up prophets in the last times to tell you. That's right. That's yeah. why we out here. Yeah. You know, we ain't we ain't getting a, a, a physical paycheck for, for doing this. We coming out here to edify, man. That's right. You know, you had something right? Come real, real quick. Come. Sliding in there. It's uh, Psalms 77 and 5. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. Mm -hmm. And that goes right with it, man. This is history, man. Yeah. Like you said, you got Jake living around here, living it up, riding in Lamborghinis and you know, shucking and jiving. Meanwhile, this is the history of our uh, people, man. Yep. You know? Yeah, to say that, you know, that, that word consider, it means to um, analyze carefully, man. Yep. You know? I say this, yeah. you're talking yep. about the history and the future. Yes, That's right. You got right. over here right here in Georgia, they got the Georgia Guy Stones where they said they want to uh, make the world's population of 500 million. Mm -hmm. Right now, according to Esau's database, they said the world is populated by eight or nine billion. Mm -hmm. You know how much slaughter and yes. destruction that's a lot, man. And really, you look at all these so-called whistleblowers from the Alice Jones, whether they paid off or not, they always emphasize one thing, that the rest of the people are gonna catch hell, but they really got a disdain hate for the so-called Negroes and Latinos. Yep. Yeah. Look at that, you got ice coming through, they're not grabbing these gooks or Chinese, they're right. not grabbing these funky Africans right. or Arabs, they're grabbing Latinos, right. because they yep. know that you're part of the 12 tribes of Israel. Uh -huh. That's right. Oh well, it's a lot of out of your point because a lot of them, uh, a lot of them, uh, a lot of them people, they're also coming in through the border too. Mm -hmm. But they not, you know, but they don't talk about that. They just right. talk about what they're doing to the Hispanic tribe. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's that goes back to the elders' point because Esau understands, knows that he want that he has to eliminate Jacob for trying to regain that blessing, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what he's trying to do. Yep. You know? and that's and this this is all symbolic of of the hatred for jay yep. that's why and yahweh shah warned warned israel about this and what's that matthew 24. That's right. he said when you see jerusalem compass with armies yep. well that was that was going into when the, when the, uh when the romans came down on israel mm -hmm. after yahweh shah is departing okay mm -hmm. that was when the romans came down but you know it you had the, the uh the jewish roman wars that i think it started what 66 around 66 yeah, ad 66, yeah. Yeah. yeah give or take yeah. but 70 ad that was when like they came down on Jake. They took they took down the temple and, and pushed Jake into into remote areas of Rome. What they call it? An all-out assault? Yep. It was yeah. a straight blitz on yeah. Israel, man. Yeah, Which they about to do now. Yep.
They stopped all the food coming in, all the food going out. You know, they, they, uh, uh, that's, they, a lot of our people were starving during them times too. Yep, I got a quick precept. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. That which hath been is now. Mm. So like we was just talking about how the history of what Esau's done and coming down upon Jerusalem, upon our people, that's the same thing that Esau's getting ready to do now. Yep. History is repeating itself. It says, and that which is to be hath already been. And the Most High requireth that which is past. So the Most High is going to get his revenge on these Edomites, you know, for their their uh, 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 their, their uh, indignation against Jake, you know, because he requires that which is past. He's mm -hmm. got him in a trick bag. He's, he's yeah. going to require them to do the same thing. Yep. <laughs> yeah, 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 Exactly. Yeah, uh, you have some? Yeah, just real okay. quick. This is uh, Psalms 137 and verse 7. It says, Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Mm -hmm. So the same way that you see um, the archetypes like how it is in New York, where with the... Uh, with, you can actually see them taking all of our stuff out. Mm -hmm. That's going to happen to you. We're yeah. going to come into these different lands and reap the resources of it. Isaiah and you're yeah. going to be the ones to carry it all the way from Russia into the Holy Land. That's right. Or all the way from Europe into the Holy Land. That's right, bro. You know? Yeah, we'll pack you on ships with that's goods. Right. You know? Yeah, well, this is the prophecy. That's why mm -hmm. Scripture said things written four times for our learning. This is yeah. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Okay. So therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And it, hey, it's talking about the so-called white man. And yeah, I look up Edom and Idumia, or the Idumians when you look at um when you do the research, and there's nothing but bad judgment coming from them. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know? It said, therefore that devour these shall be devoured. So-called white man is the top of that chart. But then you got the Philistines of nasty as Africans. Yeah. You got the Chinese, the you got the Arabs, you got all of them. When you read Isaiah 11 and 11, the Lord said he's gonna come the second time to get the blood of his people. Mm -hmm. And then they said, we're gonna get together and tear the heathen up. Yep. Uh, Micah yep. the fifth chapter, yep. right? Yep. It said, therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and they that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. And you think it's Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans don't even realize you're being preyed upon. Right. You're in the you're in the ghettos. They got cops sitting in the cut, giving you um, tickets for noise pollution. Listen to that jungle bunny rap music or salsa, <laughs> merengue, right. reggaeton, ba bachata. Yeah, 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 yeah. all that bullshit reggae, right? Then you got them sitting there giving you speeding tickets, seatbelts. Yep. When you look at all these trap zones, they're always set up on the hood. They oppress the poor. Even right now, we're talking about it through the Spirit of the Lord. In Georgia, you got the prison system that, which got our people in captivity. But right here, and, and they're paying, what, 24 cents a day? But right here in Georgia, this is one of the states, this in Texas, where they don't pay their inmates one red cent. Uh, <laughs> You're part of the prey. Yep. Free labor. Yep. I got something. And this is, you know, going into Esau. This is Obadiah. Uh, I started at verse 9. Uh, well, I started at verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. So for Esau's violence and coming against our people, the Lord's going to cut them off. Yeah. And these are the scriptures, especially when you go into the book of Obadiah, that Esau doesn't like to get into. Yeah. You know, because yeah. it goes into his history. You know, and these scholars and these archaeologists and these top elites of these so-called white people, they know. You know, it says. In that day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem. And that's, that's why the prophecy yeah. in Jeremiah said all thy adversaries, because it wasn't mm -hmm. just Esau that benefited off right. of taking us out of our land. Yeah. All these other, once the power was stripping from Israel, all the heathens' power started rising up. Yep. The Moabites started benefiting yep. off it. Yep. The, yep. the, the, uh, the Ishmaelites, the Arabs started Elam. getting bread. Elam started getting bread. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, you got to remember that we went into slavery in, uh, in, in slavery in India too. Yep. You know, yep. in, in right. different parts of Asia, man. Yep. Hey, the transatlantic slave trade strengthened the economy of the world. Oh, oh yeah. You know, because Jake then, not only was Jake putting on, put on the bottom, Jake, like the elder was going into yesterday, anywhere where Jake is at, 
you're gonna have a thriving country, man. That's yeah. right. You know, your country's gonna thrive. You're gonna have, uh, uh, you're gonna have flavor. Mm -hmm. You know, in in the music, Inventions. you're gonna have flavor in the food. You're yeah. gonna have flavor in the clothing. Yep. Yep. Everything about your society is gonna be on the up and up because. The kings of the earth is at the bottom. Yep. Yeah. You know, so you could put them to work and you could take all of the ideas like like uh they, they gotta um when you go into like these different corporations um that, that create certain things, they have what's called a suggestion box, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and Jake, you know, just you you just pretty much write down the suggestion and put the suggestions in there. And when Esau had these big ass meetings, they take your suggestions and they implement them into their corporation. Yeah. And they take all the credit and they just design a patent number and yep. claim it and then Trade you know market. you go back to yes. the hood nigga yeah, yeah. yeah you know that's how they yep. do it yeah you know uh there's a little bit more it says in the day that the strangers carried away captive his horses and foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon jerusalem mm -hmm. even thou was as one of them yeah but thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger Neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah. Right, and this is a symbol of their rejoicing. Yep. This is a symbol of, of them looking upon us. The scripture said, thou shouldest not have looked upon us. This is a symbol of them looking upon us, man. You know, this is a, this is a, this is a, this arch is a symbol of that, man. Mm -hmm. Straight up and down. So it says, neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress and they speak proudly now yep yeah. okay that's why they erect these these arches mm -hmm. you know that's why they set up these days like columbus day that ain't got nothing to do with you know uh you know uh um you israelites at the bottom right that's right. them conquering the tribes of gad the tribes of reuben yep. Issachar, right. and and then them bringing the other uh southern kingdom tribes over here that's right these okay. are that that day is coming up soon mm -hmm. you know i got precept for you this is um lamentations 2 and 16 right it said, all thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. Mm. Who's our enemies? Esau, Chinese, Japanese, anyone that's on the 12 tribes sign, mm -hmm. that's the heathen. That's right. Yep. They said, all thy enemies have opened up their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash their teeth. They say, we have swallowed her up. Mm. Who's the herd? The nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. Certainly this is the day that we look for, for we have found, for we have seen it. Mm. The Lord hath done that which he had devised. He had fulfilled his word. He had commanded in the days of old. He has thrown down and have not pity. He had caused thy enemy to rejoice over thee. He has set up the horn of thy adversary. And they knew it was prophesied that we was gonna fall away. They had witches, soothsayers. That's why they used to boldly um, come, uh, or boast, say it's manifest destiny. Right. Because right. it was destined that we was gonna fall away first and come back. Though. That's right. Yep. Now we boldly say through the Spirit of the Lord. It's manifest destiny that your ass going to slavery. That's right. It's manifest right. destiny that your children get thrown upon the rocks. Mm -hmm. It's manifest destiny that all the saints of the Most High are going to have the honor to put feathers or irons upon your Ooh. ass. Yeah. That's right. That's right. I, I you got some more, but I got, I got just a little bit more. That was it on that. Yep. Okay, come. And just to back you up, this is Obadiah uh, verse 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. Mm -hmm. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Yep, so the things the that you set up for us, you know, having us in slavery, having us down at the bottom, having us in, in chains of captivity, you know, trying to destroy us as a nation, yeah. the Heavenly Father's going to return that right back on you. Yeah. Right? Double. You know? Yeah, double. double. Yep. Uh, real quick, it's uh, 1 Maccabees chapter 2, verse 8. It says, her, temp her infants are slain in the streets, her young men with the sword of the enemy, what nation hath not had part in her kingdom mm. and gotten of her spoils? Yeah. Mm. It's it's all, yeah. 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 I mean, all, that's all the nations. Nation. You know? That's why you got Psalms, the second chapter, where the Lord said, Ask of me the heathen in the uttermost parts of the land. That's right. Uh, sure. <laughs> Give them deep for your, for as an inheritance. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Yeah. I got something real quick. This is uh, Micah chapter 5 and, um, and verse 12. And I will cut yeah. off witchcrafts yeah. out of thine hand. And this mm. is witchcraft. When yeah. you look up to the so-called founding fathers of this nation, the parliament over there in Japan, over there in Africa, they're all based off witchcraft. Yeah. All the heathen has worshiped Satan to get one part of this kingdom one way or the other. Everything, everything we watch, all the, the idols, the Lady Justice, yeah. is nothing but a remix of the Egyptian Mayat. Mm -hmm. You got the um, the Obelis, Semiris, Tamaruz, the yeah. Queen of Heaven, AKA the Goddess of 10,000 Names. It's all remix. You got Baal, you got um, Baal Perith, 
or if yeah. you got all these names, it's all Satanism, and they all have to have the same rituals of witchcraft, yeah. a little child's anus. Right. You know, when you look up IHS in the, in the um, this, they call it the Society of Jesus in the Catholic Church, they show you the secret of their magic, the black sun is a little child's fucking rectum. And that's the pro that's the power of their magic, which is witchcraft. Yeah. Wow. All right. It says, and I will cut off witchcrafts out of thine hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. And when you look up witchcraft, it literally means any evil spirit. The heavenly Father said, the, the, the Bible said, there's only one good or two good. That's the heavenly Father and His Son. As it said, honor the Son as thou honor the Father. Any other spirit, if you're supping or sucking off of that vessel, yeah. is all witchcraft. Yeah. Anything. The Catholic Church. Uh, Morgan, uh, Mormonism, Allah, Baptist, whatever. Mm -hmm. If it's not the truth according to the Bible, it's all witchcraft. It's all yep. witchcraft. And all, look, our people are heavy into that too. Santeria, yep. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's Santeria, yeah, that's Santeria, yeah. man. That, that shit is wicked, man. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Freemasonry, mm -hmm. OES, yeah. yep. witchcraft. And don't yep. forget, you have a lot of our people that live in these other countries that are heavy into Roman Catholicism and Islam. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? That go back yeah. to the Queen of Heaven. You all have. Oh, uh, parades yeah. with the statue of the, uh, oh, yeah, Semiramis yeah, and Tammuz. Yeah, Levi be doing that shit heavy. Yeah, mm -hmm. they show you that movie, The Serpent and the Rainbow. Yeah. yeah. Come on, this is uh, verse, what was that? Verse 14. Yep. And I will pluck up thy groves out of the midst of thee, so will I destroy thy cities. That's a perfect mm. example. That's, that's, a, that's a grove. Yeah. That's a grove. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. And, and, yeah. and I was going to say, because yep. that's what uh, Elder Idnop said, he said is what? Hey, it's, it's, it's pretty much the laws of karma. Yeah. So yeah. as you mm -hmm. did it to us, Hey, we gonna be we gonna be going around the world knocking your shit down. Yeah. Man, hey, that big that big it, Jesus it. statue in Brazil. In Brazil yeah. Yeah. Who you think gonna knock that down? Lord. Right. That's they right. Got, they got yeah. Egyptian obelisks all over the place, all yeah. over the earth. Yeah. Everywhere, yeah. man. It's, it's all on yeah. top of buildings. It's, um, hey, they got yeah. a lot of stuff hidden, man. Yeah. Yeah. So hey, hey, tell you that. What is that? Um, I think it's Ezekiel 39. Where it says we're gonna go around and destroy the idols and we gotta destroy yeah, 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 yeah. tanks, yeah, tanks missiles, not fire, not burn, wood, fire. Yep. burn it, burn it. Talking yeah. about laser beams and yeah. spiritual yeah. power. Yep, yeah. and, and, and also in that same uh, chapter in Ezekiel 39, it say how we gonna sever out men of continual employment. Yeah. Yeah. And right. oh, guess what? We got some jobs for you motherfuckers, man. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. to be yeah. quite yeah. frank and honest, man. Hey, well, y'all had a couple of thousand years of rest. Yeah. <laughs> right. 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 Hey, I'm this right. is a quick tidbit with the growth. Yeah. Every church you look, whether it's the Mormon church, the Baptist church, all the windows are set up as groves, which go back into witchcraft where they used to worship idols and demons under the groves of the, of the trees and think that the Lord couldn't see them. Well, that's what Man. the arch is, because the grove is when the trees overarch over them. Yeah, yep. And they, yep. And they used to go in there and they do their little... They look the rituals, druid rituals yep. and stuff like that. Man, that's yep. just arches, man. So these groves, that's a grove, they got to yep. be destroyed. Man, man. that's heavy. You know? Yeah. I'm going to finish it off. It says... Um, Thy graven images also will I cut off, and thy standing images out of the midst of thee. Mm. And thou shalt no more worship mm. the work of thine hands. Mm. And I will pluck up thy groves out of the midst of thee, so I will destroy thy cities, and I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. Mm. That's those arrows of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And when, just to make a quick um, point, when you go to every city, you got the, the square, Every capital, you got all these different idols, and most people ride by and don't think nothing of them. When you go to the courthouse, they got all these idols in front of them. Yep. Everything is based off of idols, and if they only have statues, they're using human idols. They all took the people of our nation and made them idols. Yep. Like yep. your Michael Jordans, your Mike Tysons, uh -huh. Michael Jacksons. All your celebrities. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? the word celebrity means the star to be exalted. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What the Lord said, everyone that exalts itself shall be a base. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. I got yeah. something. This is uh, Isaiah. Yeah, this is Isaiah 47 and 10. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, None seeth me. Yeah, yeah. and you know? what's their wickedness? When you look up Alexander the, the Great Faggot, they all dealt with soothsayers or magi, or, or, or even when you got your next um, senator, president, they go to what you call the um, oration. When you look up the augury, those were the soothsayers of witches behind the scenes. They have a, a secret augury in private. They already know who's going to be um, elected. And then they should do another ritual in front of the public. Right, right. Yep. Uh -huh. 
That's why the knowing and meaning of words is important, but it's all yeah, witchcraft. All yeah. See, when people think of witchcraft, they look at a Harry Potter yeah. witch, right. Potion, which is true, true, is true yeah. because you look at the graduation, they're standing on the square, mm -hmm. square and compass. You know, square and compass and Freemasonry are the square and the tassel, and they're dressed in a witchcraft um, regalia when you graduate, the judges. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's all witchcraft. Yep. That's right. But if you not learn what the Lord said, my people are destroyed for lack of wow. knowledge, it'll go right over your head. Yeah. It says, thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee, and thou hast said in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. Yeah, they said that they're the most high. Who could stop Big Bad Great America? Right. Just to link up how America and Egypt is united, you got the three strongholds, or the power of three that the so-called white man used. The inner city of London, where the Rothschilds who command and run everything, right? You got the District of Columbia, go back to the Queen of Heaven where they got all Egyptian obelisks and the, the false prophet of all false prophets, the, uh, the Vatican, that's why they all got the, the Egyptian obelisks because they're intertwined together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, it says, therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it rises, and mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Hey, same way it came came down on Israel. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the, yeah. the Lord said, suddenly Israel shall be uh, 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 compassed with armies. Yeah. Uh, you know? Yep. Hey, and, and then it speak, speak about what? The, the land of Israel going to be trodden down by the Gentiles. You know? Hey, they, it was all of a sudden. So guess what? It's going to come yep. right back to you. Yep. Just how you came down on Jake in the west coast of Africa real quick, mm -hmm. like an eagle. That's why the Lord say it bring a nation uh -huh. on swift. you swift as an eagle. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's Hey, the scripture say that's how Yahweh Shah coming. Yeah, Yahweh right. Shah coming like lightning. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you get what you yeah, what yeah, you yeah. put out there, that's what you get, my boy. That's that's right. Right. And that's and that's what's going to happen to you so-called white right. people. And, right. and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah ain't going to let up on you right. until he accomplished that which he pleases. Right. That eagle eye on you. The thing about yeah. eagles, they can see they pray for my Miles away, mm -hmm. Esau was watching us yeah. for a long time, just yeah. like your Shah was mm -hmm. watching your ass. He was watching, he was watching yeah. us through the prophecies. Yeah. Yeah. You know how they weakened us? Yeah. Uh, when they came in, was it um, Antiochus? So I came in with the New World Order, said yeah. everybody to be one. Mm -hmm. When Jake started taking all that philosophy, they know that anger is the Lord, so they knew they could come in and went have a yep. resistance. That's uh -huh. right. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> when you go into the history, uh, it was an Ammonite by the name of Achior. Achior he yeah. mentioned that. He mentioned that to the Greeks. And it was like, if they power be with them, you can't do nothing against them. But mm -hmm. if they sin against the Moza, they, they power, that's then right. that's when we can come in and take them down. Yeah. They knew it, man. It was all the heathen. Other knew it. And it was, all the, it was yeah, Ammon, yeah. and it was all uh -huh. Judah. Yep. Yeah. And all the heathen was together was a Judah, yep. coming against Israel. That's right. right. Yep. Yeah. That's when you get the UN, and un is another word for Satan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, you know? So, yeah, you yeah. know, we just a quick on location. You want that's to right. close out with a few Yeah. Just, well, just a All quick right. statement. Okay. If you got one, I'm going to say Joel, the second chapter, which says they came in with their armies. The Lord said he's coming with his armies when you read Joel, the second chapter. Yeah. But those yeah. armies are the nuclear yeah. missiles. Okay. Yep. <laughs> uh, real quick, Malachi 1 yeah. and 3. And I and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage to waste for the yep. dragons of the wilderness. Ooh. Whereas mm -hmm. Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Mm -hmm. Thus saith Yahweh by Shema Rashad, Tazabah Waf, the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down, yes, right. and they yes, shall right. call them the border of wickedness yep. and the people whom the Lord has that's indignation that's forever. That's it. You know? And guess what? Yep. That's talking about them and their pride, because even when you see the double eagle or the eagle on the dollar bill, it re really represents the phoenix, because the phoenix in their oh, belief yeah. mm -hmm. comes out of the ashes mm -hmm. and rebuilds. Mm -hmm. yep. They say that they're going to come out of this third world's war mm -hmm. and rebuild. Yep. Even that pompous bastard, what was his <laughs> name? Um, um, Charles Manson. Oh yeah. He said yeah. they got a term in there called Helter Skelter, where they said Darkie's gonna take over, but he's gonna leave some of us whiteys around because they're not smart enough to rule. Oh, That's geez. the pride of that. Oh, 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 well, they're gonna be surprised yeah. when yeah, that yeah. Yeah, what, 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 Revelation uh, thirteen and ten. Yeah. That's so, right. Hey, yeah. when Jake yeah. get back in power, that's it. You in change. That's, that's it. Right. Okay. And that's, that's why the scriptures yeah. uh, make reference when you read the book of Daniel about that little horn horn that had the mouth. Uh, yeah. And he said he spoke a uh, 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 great, great swelling word. Great swelling word. Yeah. Yeah. Saying that's shit. That's yeah. that's yeah. that yeah. type of shit. Yep. You know, saying you know they you know they ain't. Guess what? Yeah. We we gonna get rid of you motherfuckers through the spirit of Yahweh by yes, right. Shah yes, right. at a particular point in time. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. that's written in the prophecy. Since yeah. you wanna say, yeah, you know, they're gonna leave around a few of us. Right. No, we not. Your memorial's gonna perish. That's, yep. that's, that's right. right. That's, that's right. right. Hey, you say right. the, the seed of Esau 
shall be uh, uh, destroyed. For you know, Trump is taking orders from the elites because he says he wants to make America great again. Mm -hmm. Well, he has to destroy this America that, that the people know now mm -hmm. in order to try to bring back this new world order to make the elites and they, you know, mm -hmm. to put them, you know, um, set them up. That's but right. the Lord, like like uh, the elder said, he got them in a trick bag. Yeah, right. yep. you know. And that's where you get that movie The Purge. Yep. When you listen to all the purges, they say it's the new founding fathers. New founding yep. fathers. That's yep. their elites yeah, yeah, yeah. talking about uh, they came and took over their property. Yep. 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 That's you know? right. That's it. You know, so the, hey, the, the writing is on the yep. wall, man. That's right. You know, we, we go around these different own locations, and we I, we can identify that these are the Edomites just based on his replicas. That's right. That's right. What yeah. other nation would, would erect what the Romans erected? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? Egypt, the daughter of Babylon, yeah. which yep. to be destroyed. Yeah. That's right. You know, so you know, hopefully that was an edifying on location. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. You know, we had the elders with us today. Hopefully that was edifying. We're gonna give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors once again to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and safety to the elect. And peace and safety to the elect. Thank you.